shall we clap for Jesus? We will be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's like you are not happy because there's no chicken to eat after this. If you knew that there's a chicken somewhere after this, you hear. Mm, are you happy? You are not. You are not. You need to be happy. Merry Christmas and the Happy New Year in advance. Because of time, let me take advantage to share the message that I shared with the leaders yesterday and the, our new couple. Clap for them. See the way they are shining. Look at them well, well. Look at them. Hmm? Uh, when I was coming this side, I said, is this one that I know? So I was, I said, hey, people can shine like this. Continue like that. Even next time they want to see you shining like that. In Jesus' name. We are happy for you that the end of 2023 will be good to you. Yes, the reason is that you are laying a new foundation for your marriage and for your future. Remember, it is this same year, 2023, that we made a covenant with God Almighty. There's nothing like, you know, we are doing something which is out of, you know, the scripture. No. If a boy and a girl can make a blood covenant... And Satan will use that one to pin them down. If someone can make a covenant with, you know, evil spirit for money, for whatever, and that covenant become active, why are you underlating the covenant which your father, your grandfather did not make with God Almighty? They made the covenant with the idols. Yes, you can argue with me. But future will prove you wrong. Even some of the names that we are calling came from the same shrines. If you made a covenant, you are disconnecting yourself from that shrine. This is why this couple today, the way we start our journey, some of us, there are so many hiccups along the line. Now we want to patch up. So that there will be smooth, you know, movements when we are moving as husband and wife. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are married today, tomorrow no more. You are married today, you are married forever. You are married today, tomorrow no more. You are married today, you are married forever. Amen. Oh, you are taken today, you are taken forever. Oh, you are taken today, 
Say never. Save the purpose of God in your life. Say it again. I can't hear you at the back. Yes. That is our simple title this morning. So that we include even the new couples here. Anything that you are doing must Save the purpose of God. Remember, you as a human being, where you are spending money, there is a purpose for that. You are building a house for the purpose. And you are taking your, child, your children to school for the purpose. Simply means, even you as a human being, let your life save the purpose of God. God is a creator. And variety is a space of life. The way you are going to handle your life here on earth will determine the future after this life. This is why it's important that you save the purpose of God in your life. I need marriage. I need money. In that marriage, the purpose of God must accompany my desire. So that Satan will not use the love that I have for my marriage to destroy me. I'm talking to you people of God. Even our viewers. Let your marriage save the purpose of God. Let your career, your business save the purpose of God. Anything that you are doing here on earth. The purpose of God is supreme over your life. Everything we have here. Time is coming that you are going to leave them behind. But the purpose of God will follow you. When you are walking, let the purpose of God be part of your walking. So that you will not make others to fall under the trap of the devil. I want to remind you children of God that going to church every Sunday, there's nothing wrong. But if you lose your focus, which took you to church then it is good as not to go to church. Are you there? This is why whatever we are doing, I know that all over the world people are congregating. Are we saving the purpose of God in our fellowship every day? Why is it that churches are no longer regarded as a place of honor and dignity? Because when we enter the church, we saw a lot of things inside the church. There you lose your focus. You are no longer focusing on what you followed there. Instead, you see that you join the group of gossipers. Because no one can gossip alone. Can you gossip alone? Eh? Can you gossip alone? No, there must be one or two people to second your bad character. Yes, yes. Even me, I knew that one is a fool. Ah, even you, you know that he's a fool. Simply means three people who went to church to worship Jesus. After meeting, you know, in that place, they lose their focus. They now started following the wind. You know when you are following the wind? You know what I mean? It's a parable. Can you catch the wind? Can you catch the wind? Simply means your life is restless. You don't, even if you meet Jesus today, Jesus will be performing miracles. You'll be busy talking about your friends. Jesus will finish his miracles and go back. You remain just like that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Second Timothy chapter 2. Let me start. I will not start where. I was teaching my readers, but I'll combine it. Verse 20. 
2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. In a large house, there are tensors, not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some for special purpose and some for common use. Take note of that. Some for what? Special purpose and some for common use. Those who cleanse themselves from the letter will be instruments for special purpose, made wholly useful to the master and prepared to do any good work. 22. Free the evil desire of your youths. Pursue the righteousness, faith, love, peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Praise the Lord. In a large house, I'm going back to 20. There are so many articles. So many what? Articles. Not only of God and silver, but also of wood and clay. Now, if you look at this statement, articles, there are so many jar or dish. If you are pangwa, neloba, or nagot, or silver. And the Bible says that some are for special purpose. Some are for common what? Use. If you look at this word, special purpose, for me, according to my own understanding, special purpose is to serve God Almighty with all your heart. You set aside your own, you know, things that you want to see or what you want to become in this life. And then you treasure the purpose of God in your life. I'll go back again to this word. I want you to know that God created so many things here on earth. But the way he created you as a human being, he created you according to his what? Image and his what? Likeness. Look at chicken. Look at gods. Pig. Elephant. Dogs. Cow. Name them. They were not created for that special purpose. You were created for that special purpose. Because he gave you that authority and power. Let me just say dominion over everything here on earth. Simply means you need to serve the purpose of God in your life. Because God did not create you like a dog or a chicken or elephant. No. He created you for his own purpose. So that you serve his interest. So that you protect his integrity and dignity as a child of God. Praise the Lord. You are the two in the hands of God Almighty. Brothers and sisters who are about to be blessed in our new journey. Remember that let your marriage serve the purpose of God. If you neglect the will of God in your life, there's no marriage again. Only cut and rats. Let your marriage, your money, your children serve the purpose of God. Because you are so special. Hallelujah. 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 Why is it that within the church there are people who are drinking beer? There are people who are going to witch doctors. There are people who are beating their wives. There are people who are mistreating their families. And every Sunday you see them inside the church. At first when you answered the call to go to church, you said, I want to be like Jesus. But immediately you enter the church, you become familiar 
you lose focus because of the environment that you find yourself. Instead of you focusing on what you want to become, you are now focusing on building what? Flames outside the, the holiness of God Almighty. There you are not serving the purpose of God in your life. Anything that you have must serve the purpose of God in your life. You are working, you are learning a company, let the company serve the purpose of God in your life. And like the company become your God. Where you are saying, I can't go to church because uh, my company is this and that. When you fall sick, or the time that you are going to die, are you going to tell death to say, please, let me run the company? No. You start calling Jesus. Father, Lord Jesus, I'm dying. Help me. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. You are forgetting that the chance was given to you to serve his purpose. So that even God himself will serve your purpose. Meaning what you want, God will be there to provide for you. Because you are serving his purpose, God Almighty will be busy to make sure that you are satisfied in this life. But if you say you want to use your, your, your time to do whatever you want to do, like uh, our brothers and sisters, they are in marriage. Experience is the best teacher. See what you have gone through. That is the lesson. This time around, serve the purpose of God in your marriage. So that the Holy Spirit will be in charge over your marriage. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, those who cleanse themselves from the letter will be instrument for special purpose. Which letter? That is the law. There are people who claim to be like you can worship God with. No. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. When you believe in Jesus, you become the instrument for his what? Special purpose. And the Bible says that uh, made holy, useful to the master and prepared to do any good work simply means no one can be good whether you are a professor, you are a teacher, you are a lawyer, you are a businessman, you are educated. You cannot be good because you are having all those things that I've mentioned. What can make you to be a good person is the Holy Spirit in you. The Spirit of God always gives us deep understanding about this life. We are not moved by what we hear or see. Our focus is always to save his purpose. Whether you are saying bad things about my life, you are saying this and that about his life, as long as the Spirit of God is in you, you have been made holy by your master. And who is your master? Jesus Christ. You are prepared to do any good work. Have you ever seen a man of God, a believer, a leader who is committed, fighting to his fellow brothers or sisters? Have you ever seen that? I'm talking to you, church. Have you ever seen a fellow brother fighting a fellow brother? Have you ever seen that? Hmm? Ah. I'm alone. Let me ask this side. Have you ever seen? Maybe they will answer me this side. Because you know what I'm talking about. You quarrel every day with your fellow leader. Sometimes you even, you know him to, you know, to do bad things against your brother or your sister. Why? You are not mastered by Jesus to do any good work. You are mastered by your mind, which is not perfect and reliable. There is no way you can say you are a good person. You are not provoked. When you are provoked, that's when you know that I'm a child of God. Jesus was, you know, uh, performing miracles, signs and wonders. People are busy calling him all kinds of names. He did not respond to all those things because his focus was to make sure that the purpose of his father in his life fulfilled. 
Are you saving the purpose of God in your marriage? Hmm? Are you saving the purpose of God in your life? You are not answering me. What does it mean? You are not doing what you are supposed to do. Listen to this statement. Those who cleanse themselves from what? The letter. Meaning, I have a lot to play. For me to be holy, it is not just enough for me to sit down and say, Jesus will make me holy. No. There's something I need to denounce. There's something I need to say no. Then from there, 50% have cleansed myself. Now Jesus will come to do his job. Because my heart is willing now to serve his purpose. There he will incite his spirit in me. So that I can be a good person to do a good work. There are people who used to do good things inside the church. Spending night inside the church. Supporting the work of God. Fasting every week. Today, they can't do that. They can't do that. Why? They were not mastered by Jesus. Or prepared by Jesus. If you are using your energy to do the work of God, one day you get tired. Listen to this 20. In a large house, there are articles, not only of gold or silver, even woods and clay. The value of that pot of clay and the value of gold and silver is not the same. Even when you carry a clay pot and you carry, you know, a, a gold pot, a silver pot to go and sell it, the price will not be like, in fact, no one will buy even that clay pot. You are like God in the hands of God Almighty. He wants to use you for his own purpose. So let your journey, your relationship, serve the purpose of God Almighty. See what is happening in this world. The world is going down. There is war all over the world. But I want you to know, this is December 24th. Today is Christmas Eve. What is the meaning of Jesus born to the world? He came to save the purpose of God. You too, the follower and the believer of Jesus, save the purpose of God in your life. Your company must save the purpose of God. Your marriage must save the purpose of God. Anything under you, under your custard, must save the purpose of God in your life. Because you are so special. He created you like him. You were not created like animal or fish. It is science that can label you like, you know, there's no difference between animal and human beings. But to him, he said, let us make man in our own image, according to our likeness. There you are. To save his purpose. Are you saving the purpose of God in your life? Some of you, when you get married, you used to be a praise singer inside the church, an usher, active, you know, leader. After getting married, you are no longer active. Who is going to sustain your marriage? Why are you burying your destiny in that journey you call marriage? Let everything that you have save the purpose of God. Even in marriage, let the purpose of God be saved. You and your husband, whether your husband is not interested, your wife is not interested, you who understand, save the purpose of God. Look at Abraham. The wife was not, you know, like him. But Abraham made sure that his purpose, the one who created me, must be saved. Even in the absence of my wife, the purpose of God must be saved. Even in the absence of my husband, the purpose of God must be saved. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Don't allow any material things to, de to deceive you. There are people we call heroes of this world who fought for our freedom physically. Today, the freedom they fought for is no longer with them. They are no more here on earth. Are they going to say, no, we fought for independence, so we are saved? The answer is no. Even when you are in politics, say, carry God along. I want to be a mayor. Let God be part of that desire. I want to be a member of parliament. Let God be part of that desire. I want to be a president. Let God be part of that desire. So that in that office, when you become a president, you will save the purpose of God in your life. When you become rich, you employ a lot of people. If truly you are serving the purpose of God in your life, even those who are working under you who enjoy your presence, who enjoy your company, because you treat them fairly and equally because you are a child of God and you are preaching the word of God through the treatment you are giving your workers. If you start abusing them, the hand of blessings, that is the hand of God, will live your life. You will remain with your mind. Why do you know about your mind? The same mind that you have, your brother has the same mind. Your uncle has the same mind. But they are not like you. God made you to be who you are so that you save his purpose. Even when you become rich, you become a member of parliament. Save the purpose of God. You will be there for years and years. Because God Almighty will use your office. In our marriage, let us make sure that the purpose of God is fulfilled and saved in accordance with his word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So that is my message for you. God bless you. situation must bow within my body within my house within my family every new must bow and every tongue must confess Jesus is Lord.